All right, this is part two. Some sour. I haven't really, yeah, you have a, a method illness, yes. Obviously. I'm there in the head, but I have serious mental issues. Like, like, you know, then the keys makes it worse because everyone can read my mind. Hence why when people hate on me, I get very uncomfortable. I can get depressed about it, depressed about the keys, about people hating on me. And, they, and yesterday at work, I was a bit depressed because everyone I work with was just hating on me like crazy, obviously. And I know it's how the Hollywood celebrities hate on me when I watch movies too. They hate on me too. You know what I'm saying? And it gets me very uncomfortable. I'm like, Vijay, like, Vijay, like, I'm, like, I'm like, I'm like, Vijay, they can read our mind. Ivan, they can't. I mean, it's in your head. They can't read your mind. I'm like, yes, they can. They can read our mind. Yeah, Ivan, mean, yes. I'm not kidding around. Watch, watch the fucking movie or or what. Think all these thoughts. You're going to know is how they start hating on us. Yeah, they can read our minds, Vijay. We're time as beings. So when we watch movies 50 years ago, present day shows, they, they, they all hate on me. Yeah, yeah man. I watch Ron Mayer Burnett, he hates on me. Don't hate me, Robert. I watch John Hamper, they hate on me. Chris Carr and all of them, they hate on me. Ray Orr and all of them, they hate on me. Like they look they can they can read my mind even even one even if it's a video made they can read my mind, man. I have the keys. And I'm a time is being. They hate on me like crazy. Yeah, man. Since I Because I have the keys. And me and Visa are timeless beings. Our spirit is timeless, hence why. You can watch a movie a hundred years ago. You know what I'm saying? And the people making those videos a hundred years ago are aware of my presence. Even though they're they're dead, they're long dead. They're so aware of my presence because my spirit's timeless. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I'm God, obviously. That's why they can they can they can they can even read my mind a hundred years ago. Fifty years ago. You see what I'm saying? They can read my mind, yeah, because because I have the keys. And I'm a timeless being. I'm a god. My spirit is outside of time. My my human nate body is created in time. And my spirit is the source. It's what created time itself. Hence why I I, I what. Uh, I'm 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 a timeless being. That's what got in the Bible. How Jesus says he's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and the end. There's nothing before him. There's nothing after him. Jesus was there in the beginning. Before creation, he was there when the in, in, in the for the first generation. He'll be there for the last generation. He 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 he's never ending. He's timeless because he's God. Seems like I have who created Jesus. Nobody created Jesus. Jesus is 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 life is life in its, in himself. Obviously. Just like nobody created me and Vijay, me and Vijay are God. Now, where did me and Vijay come from? That's 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 a question you can't answer. Me and Vijay, we were God. We were always there. <laughs> nobody, we, nobody created us. Me and Vijay were always there in eternity, obviously, and then we created the universe. Because you can't be God if if someone creates God, then you're no longer God, or you're a lesser God. Hence, why me and Vijay, nobody created us. We were there all the time, obviously. Now, I don't know how we were there all the time. We're God. That's our nature. We were there all the time. So say, don't hate me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We created the universe, obviously. <clears throat> Some sour? Yeah. All right, but so Jesus was... Jesus was always there. Yeah, Jesus was always there with the Father. Now there's debates. There's debates, obviously, on why they're like, 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 like Jesus. There's some people who believe um, that Jesus was there with the Father. Obviously, in eternity, there are some people who believe that Jesus was Jesus was always there, and uh, he was always a part of the Father, obviously. But like he 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 what? Um, he came into, into being, um, at, at the moment of creation, but he was still always there with the father as a part of the father. So he's still eternal. There's debates on, on, on what the Christians believe, obviously, but Jesus is an eternal being. He was there with the father and the, and the spirit, obviously. 
And Jesus is is, 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 is is called the Son of God because Jesus possesses the nature of uh, of the Father. Hence why he's the Son of God. He possesses that nature of the Father. Because if, if the Father is pretty much like the... Like, like he's like the source. And then the Son comes from the Father. The, the Son is a possessor, is begotten of the Father. He's a possessor of... Of the fa of the father's nature, and the spirit proceeds from 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 the from, from from the father. So, because the son possesses the father's nature, he is they have the same nature; they're equal in power. He, he's just as much God as, as the father, because they have the same nature, and the spirit is just just as much God as Jesus and the father, because they all possess the same nature. But even though they all possess the same nature and are equal in power. And, and, and nature and all that stuff and there, there, there's a rank of authority the father is still has the hierarchy of in terms of authority and then you have the son and you have the spirit so even though Jesus is equal to the father in power and nature the father he's subordinate to the father because the father is his, is his father obviously and Jesus is his son and the spirit is subordinate to the father and the son so you still have a hierarchy obviously just like even though me and VJ are equal in power and nature, obviously, VJ is subordinate to me because I'm a son of God. I suddenly have a higher authority, rank of authority than her because I'm king and she's queen. A king is bigger than a queen. But that doesn't mean VJ still has VJ is still equal to me in power and nature. She's helping me run the whole universe. You see what I'm saying? That's just, that's 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 the example you get in the Bible. Holy shit, I even know your shit. Oh, South Music, I even know your shit. Yes, I know my shit. You know what I'm saying? I know my shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what it means that Jesus is the son of God. Is that Jesus is a possessor. He's, he possesses the uh, the nature of the father. And he also comes from the father. He's in the bosom of the father. So in that sense, because he comes from the father, and he's a possessor of the father, of the father's nature, he's, he's the son. Of the father. But because he, he possesses the father's nature. He was always there. He's, because he has the eternal nature of God. That's why he's uncreated. You see what I'm saying? He's the uncreated son. Because he was always there with the father. He possesses a nature. To possess the nature of the father. Means you have to be eternal. Because the father himself is God. So the son must be eternal too. And the spirit proceeds forth from the father. You see what I'm saying? That's why they're all co-equal and co-eternal and they're all uh, equal in power but even though they're equal in power they still have a rank of authority the father is, is, is the son is subordinate to the father and the spirit is subordinate to the father and the son is there yeah there's they're subordinate in the sense like of um of authority Obviously, but they're still equal. They're all equal in power and and, 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 and authority. <clears throat> Obviously. And majesty and glory. Obviously. So even though the Father owns all creation, because the Son is the Son of, of the Father, He's the heir. That's why he, the Son came to, to, to die on the cross, because the Son is the heir, is the heir. Is the heir of of, 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 of of creation. That's why the son came. People always say, why did the father not come? Because the son is the heir. That's why he came to die for the sins of the world. The father didn't come. He sent his son because the son is the uh is the is the is the heir to the uh, to, 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 to the what? To the uh to the kingdom obviously. Some Sarah. Also, another thing is because the father is the uh, is the um, is like the source of is, is like the source of God. Obviously, he is the, the no the father is a source of God. Obviously, he's like the source of God. Obviously, the son is like the possessor of 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 of, of the father of his nature, and he comes from the father. He's in the bosom of the father, and the spirit proceeds from the father. And it's everybody, all, all, all creation's goal, all creation's goal, obviously, is, 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 is to see the, the, the father. Because it ends at the father. It starts with the spirit, 
And it starts with the son, then it starts and it ends with the father. So, 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 everyone, everyone's what? Every, all of creation's, all of creation's goal is, 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 is to see the father. So it makes sense for the father because he's, he, in, he, in the ultimate sense, it ends with him. It would make sense for him to send his son in order for the, the um, his, uh, the son's creation to, 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 to see the father. That's why Jesus says, um, 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 you cannot see the father without through, without going through me. You know what I'm saying? That's why Jesus said that. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's another reason why Jesus came. Because the Father, in the ultimate sense, it ends with him. Because he's like the source of God. The Son and the Spirit are the source too, but they come from the Father, right? The Spirit proceeds from the Father. The Son is begotten of the Father. So because they come from the Father, they possess that nature. That's God. That's why they're all co-equal and co-eternal. Co Hence why Jesus came, because Jesus is the heir, obviously. And Sam talked about that. Jesus is the heir to the to creation, obviously. But at the same time, it, it, it all ends with the Father. Hence why, if you want to get to the Father, you have to what? The Son has to come. He has to die in order for the creation to get to, 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 get to, to the Father, who is, who is like the, the source. The source of God, right? The source of God, obviously. That's pretty much how the Trinity is. The Father is pretty much the source of God, and then the Son, the Son is 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 is, is, is in the bosom of the source, and he's a possessor of that nature. Hence, why he's co-equal, co-eternal with, with with the Father, and the Spirit proceeds from the Father. That's how it works. The, the Father is like the ultimate source. Hence, why it would make sense for him to send his Son. That way. That that way the, the his, his 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 their creation can get to to conceive the father. But Jesus says Jesus says what, um you can't what. You can't get to the father unless you, you through through me. Why did he say that? Because the father is like the source of God. Obviously, he's the source of God. But Jesus and the Spirit are also the source because they come from the, the father, because they possess the same nature. That's why they're they're also the source too. But, but Jesus is the possessor of the Father's nature. That's why he's a son of God. Because he comes from the Father. In the Bible, it clearly says, Jesus comes from, Jesus says, I came from God. And it also, Jesus also says, it also says that Jesus is in the bosom of the Father. The Father's in the Son, the Son's in the Father. Yeah, Jesus came from the Father. Hence why he's a son. But because... He possesses that nature that's of the Father. He's he's also he has the same. He has that eternal nature. That's why he's he's eternal. He's he's co-equal in power because they possess the same nature. Some you know Sarah, and the Spirit proceeds from the Father. That's why the Spirit also has the eternal nature of God, and the, they're equal in power because they all possess the same nature and power. But there's a rank, even though they possess the same nature and power, they're co-equal and eternal. There's also, there's a rank in, there's a, there's a subordination rank. You have the Father and the Son subordinate to the Father and then the Spirit subordinate to the Father and the Son. Um, you have like a, he a head category, right? It doesn't mean the Son's lesser in power. No, they're all co-equal in power and, and, and authority. Uh, and, and, and power and, and, and etern eternality, right? If that's a word. But there's, there's, there's like a, there's like a, there's a, there's a subordination rank. You have the Father, and you have the Son, and you have the Holy Spirit, obviously. So I should talk about that, you know what I'm saying? Sounds like, Ivan, you know your shit, huh? I'm like, yeah, I, I, I watch a lot of stuff. I know I know a little bit about the Bible, man. Yeah. I know a little bit about the Bible. Obviously.
we'll see. I know a little bit about the Bible. Yeah. Alright, so that's what it means, yes. Jesus is the Son of God because he's, he possesses the Father's nature. You see what I'm saying? And the Spirit, the Holy Spirit is a Spirit of, of, of God. That proceeds from, 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 from the Father. You see what I'm saying? So the Father is like the source of God, the source of everything that's God, obviously, and the Son is in the Father, and He comes from the Father, and because He comes from the Father, and He possesses that na that very nature, He's also co-equal and co-eternal with the Father, because He comes from the Father, He possesses the nature of, of, of the Father, that's why He's equal to the Father, obviously, but, but because the Son is the Son of the Father, he, He's still subordinate to the Father. And that's why the Father sent the Son. Because the Son is the heir, like Sam Shimon said. But also the, the Father is the ultimate is the ultimate um He's the ultimate source. Hence all the creation's goal is to see the ultimate source, which is to, which is to, to get to the Father. But Jesus says, Look, man, you want to get to the Father, you, you 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 have to believe in me. Otherwise you're never gonna see the Father. Because I'm I'm, I'm I come from the Father and I'm the one who reveals him and what? If you don't Believe in me, you're never going to see the Father. Because the Father is like the ultimate like source of God. When I say ultimate source, I mean like it ends with Him. It ends with the Father. It doesn't end with the Son. It doesn't end with the Spirit. It ends with the Father. Because the Father is is, is, is like the source of, what, of everything that's God. And the Son and Spirit proceed from, from Him. So I'm saying the Son proceeds from the Father. And the spirit proceeds from the father. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what begotten means. It means that the son possesses the nature of the father. He comes from the father. Just like just like a baby comes from its mother and father too. Jesus came from the father too. Obviously, but Jesus is not created. He was always there with the father, but he, he still came from the father. He possesses that nature. You see what I'm saying? He came from the father. Because he came from the Father, he was also eternal with the Father. That's what the idea. Is. That's why you have debates in the Christian camp on whether, like, yeah, Jesus was always there, but like, he came into being at the moment of creation from the Father. And there's others who believe that Jesus was always there. Obviously, and 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 and, and what with the Father, but he still came from the Father. You see what I'm saying? That's my point. I'm not going to talk about this uh, Christian topic here. Yeah. Sounds like, you know your shit. Oh, yeah, I know my shit, son. Yeah. I know my shit. After this, I'm going to go to the store and get my, uh, my beer and my smokes. Obviously. Yeah, so three weeks from now, I'm going to what? I'm going to man up and I'm going to ask the chick on a date. At Coco Free, and I hope she doesn't reject me. Ugh. I hope she does not reject me. I hope she does not reject me. I'm like, if you reject my ass, I swear to God, I am never asking for your number ever again. You embarrass my ass. I don't know. I come to work Sunday, I'm embarrassed, and I'm gonna think all these thoughts of getting rejected. And the employees are gonna know, obviously, they're gonna start hating on me. Oh my god. Ivan got rejected, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Looks like Ivan is, 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 isn't so handsome after all. He got rejected by this hot chick. You know, so I'll be embarrassed, man. I'll be crushed if, if she rejected my ass. And if you reject my ass, I am never what? I am never what? I am never asking for your number ever again, man. Because you fucking crushed me, man. And she'll tell the employees, yeah, I rejected. She'll tell them in French, yeah, I rejected Ivan. You rejected Ivan? Ivan's a handsome man, man. You would have been on top of the world when you're with him, man. What is wrong with you? Like, he could have been your boyfriend. 
you and him could have had a thing. Oh my God, did I make a mistake? Yeah, you made a mistake. So I fell for an error. You know what I'm saying? Tell her in French, you know what I'm saying? She's très stupid, you know what I'm saying? They tell her in French, yeah. And she's like, oh my God, what have I done? You know what I'm saying? Qu'est-ce que tu fais? You know what I'm saying? It's so my fault, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how you say fault in French, but in English, but yeah. French, but... And she'll regret it, obviously. I'm like, look, man, it's your loss. I'm never asking you for your number ever again if you reject me. I'm letting the chick know in advance, man. If you reject my ass, I am never asking for your number ever again. And if you expect me to flirt with you at work, it's not happening. I'm not going to flirt with you at work. And it's your loss. I'm never asking for your number ever again as you embarrassed my ass and you rejected me. So, Sarah. And I'll be crushed, man. And I'll question... I'll start to question myself. Oh, my God. Am I, am I like, ugly or something like that? Because, like... I'm a fucking handsome man. This chick fucking rejected me. Why she reject me? I don't know. Since I don't She goes on dates with all these attractive normal men. I'm a fucking son of God. I'm a special man for the heavens. And she rejected my ass. But she won't reject me. She'll say yes. I'm saying. Because I'm fucking handsome. How can you deny this handsome face? How can you deny it, man? How can you deny this handsome face? How can you deny it? Sincere. Hence why I'm gonna I'm not telling the employees at work because I know they're gonna hate on me and I'm gonna feel uncomfortable. If they find out I'm going on a date with the chick, they're gonna start hating on me. And they're gonna I'm gonna feel very uncomfortable. But, uh, at work. I don't know, I feel like total shit because they're hating on me. The chick is like, Ivan, are you okay? You look a bit down. I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. And she knows they're hating on me, obviously. <gasps> okay. And she's like, she, she tells the yeah, Ivan, they're just jealous. She, she, she'll she have that thought cross in mind. Yeah, Ivan, they're just jealous. That, like, you, 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 you're you taking me on a date, Ivan. They're just jealous, Ivan. Because they know me and you are going to make a good couple, Yeah. Whereas those other men and her are not are not are not the greatest couples, obviously. If the manager dated that chick, they wouldn't make a great couple. They make a not bad couple, but not a great couple. If that pretty good looking guy who's a waiter dated her, they would make an okay couple, but not like a, 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 as good of a couple as me and her. Because I'm an attractive man. And she's an attractive chick, obviously. She's like an eight out of ten. She's a hot chick. And I'm what? I'm the son of God, and I'm a very attractive man. Some Sarah. I have the God gene. Some Sarah. Yeah. The only thing is that she's trash, man. Because she's ex, I mean she's garbage. I know like if she wants to have sex with me, I'm gonna get the garbage sex, guaranteed. And the room will smell fishy and everything. I'll be a bit gross stuff because I'm gonna see the STDs. And I'm like, yeah, I'm wearing a fucking condom, yeah, because it's gross. It grosses me out a little bit, yeah. And that's why I'm not choosing the garbage over the fresh. I'm getting VJ fresh, and I'm not I'm what? I'm not choosing the garbage over the fresh, man. No fucking way, obviously. Yeah, it will gross me out if I have sex with because she has STDs, and I'm a holy man. So I'm saying, I can get affected. I can itch. I might itch a little bit. I can itch some. I don't know, some. Like maybe when I'm in the moment, I won't. I won't itch, obviously. But sometimes when I'll start to think about it, and I can start itching when I think about the STDs that she has. It can make me itch, yes, because I'm a holy man. So I'm saying, huh? Hence, while I'll do my very best to not have sex with her, but she's gonna guarantee seduce me. She's gonna want to do it. She she wants a piece of that, a uh, piece of the action, obviously. Why haven't you like you want to date me? You don't want to have sex with me? I'm like, uh, not really. I kind of want to save my virginity, you know. I even like let, let's do it. And she seduces me. I end up doing it. So I'm, <laughs> yeah. Obviously. Some Sarah. Because in the Bible, when Paul says flee from fornication, what he really means is like if you go let's say if you go you 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 go home with a girl like one time and she seduces you, you gotta get out of there. If you see it if you see a chick for like months and you keep going to her place all the time, you you're you can flee as much times as you want. Eventually you're gonna get seduced, you're gonna do it. 
If it's a one-time thing, a two-time thing, a three-time thing, you could flee from it, obviously. But if you keep seeing her for like a couple months, you're going to end up doing it, guaranteed. If you, if you keep seeing a chick, obviously. You may be strong for maybe a month or two, and eventually she'll seduce you. You're going to do it, guaranteed. Because you can't resist sex. That's why Paul said flee from fornication. Because you can't resist it. The only way you can resist it is by getting out of there. You have to run. <laughs> Paul, Paul, Paul was a holy man. You know what I'm saying? Even he knew he couldn't resist sex. Yeah, man, if, if I ever went home with a chick, I'm running out of there. Because because I know I, I won't be able to resist it. Yeah, you can't resist it, obviously. You can't resist sex. Ivan, would Jesus, would Jesus been, been, been able to resist sex? I believe Jesus himself wouldn't have, wouldn't, have, wouldn't have been able to resist sex. I think he would have I think he would have resisted sex by running out of there. Because he would have been tempted outwardly. But because he's holy, he would run out. He would run out of there. He would run, obviously. I'm getting out of here. That's what he would uh, he would do. He would run. Because he's a whole Jesus is a holy man. Obviously, some Sarah. So I you don't think Jesus would have resist would have resisted sex? Jesus would have resisted sex in the sense he would run out of there. If the chick seduced him. I believe Jesus would have ran. He would have ran. Uh, I can't do this. He would have ran. He would have ran out of the room, obviously. Some saying, huh? but because the chick is very attractive, he, he he's a human being. He'd be tempted outwardly. He'd be tempted outwardly, but he never inwardly because he's ho he's holy. So because he's holy, he can't sin, obviously. But the Bible takes Jesus holding to another level to extreme. He never thought about thought. He never did this. I'm saying. He never swore one time because they they make Jesus like completely like holy, they 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 stretch the the limits obviously of his holiness. When in reality, it's a symbolism of me. I live and compared to everyone else, I live the good holy life. In other words, if if it, in other words, if Jesus lived the life that I lived, the Father would still be pleased with with, with his life because compared to everyone else, he was good. He was a good holy man. Yeah, I yeah you, you, you compared to everyone else, you lived a good holy life. Obviously, you're sufficient for, for the perfect sacrifice. Whereas the Bible makes Jesus, like, completely, like, holy. Like, whereby he never thought a bad thought. I'm like, that's impossible. No way a human being does not think a bad thought. But because Christians are crazy. Yeah, he never thought a bad thought. He never did this. I'm saying he was never tempted. He was never tempted sexually. Okay, so if a woman was hitting on him, would he, would he, like, would he, would he, would he be aroused? No, he would never be aroused. Would he get a boner? He would never get a boner. Like, they make it, like. They make it complete. I believe that if if a, if, a, if a woman was hitting on Jesus, obviously, and and he was he was aroused and he was tempted, he would run out of there because he's holy. That's what Jesus would do. But he would be, I think, he would be tempted sexually. He, he might get a bit of a boner when she's touching him because he's a human being. It says he's fully man and fully human, man, but he's without sin. Obviously, he would have probably been aroused and yeah, he would have got out of there. And in that sense, he he, 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 what? He didn't sin. But because Christians are crazy, no, if he had a boner, if, if, if he had a boner, he was aroused, he would have, he would have sinned, because you guys are crazy people. You make, you take Jesus' holy, you take Jesus' holiness to another level whereby it's impossible. If he's fully mad, no way did he not think a bad thought if he's a man. Impossible. Impossible. You know what I'm saying? He never swore once in his life. No way. He must have swore a few times if he's a human being. Yeah, but I mean, he had no sin. I'm like, yeah, you take Jesus' holiness to another level whereby it's completely impossible. It's, it's impossible. When in reality, it's the symbols of my life. I lived a good, holy life compared to everyone else. Compared to everyone else, I'm a good man. I'm a holy, good man. But I made errors in my life. I went to strip clubs. But even though I went to strip clubs, I resisted... The temptation from the strippers. I didn't go home with them. You know what I'm saying? I went to bars. I swore many times in my life. I thought many bad thoughts. In my teen years, I was a bit rebellious. I didn't listen to my parents. My my set parents are, are wicked people, obviously. They're the ones who does evil to me. Because I'm innocent, obviously. The doors are locking me the whole time. So I'm innocent the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Hence why I'm innocent of everyone else. And what? I skipped classes at school. But is that really sinning? No, not really. And I tried drugs twice. I tried weed many times. And I tried coke twice.
But I, this is in my teen years. In my adult years, I grew in, uh, in wisdom and, 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 and knowledge. And I was a holy saint in my, in, my, in, my, in my adult years. When I started to mature, you know what I'm saying? When I started to mature in my early 20s, that's when, I, after high school, that's when I lived the, uh, the, the, the what? <laughs> the, uh, the, 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 the holy life, man. Just worked, um, went to bars. Um, I went to strip clubs maybe 20 times. And yeah, and I, I was, I was, I was, and I was, and I watched like television shows and like movies. I was a good man. I didn't, I never banged one woman. Hence why compared to everyone else, I lived a good life, obviously. Whereas the Bible takes Jesus' holiness to another extreme whereby it's impossible. There's no way he never thought a bad thought, but the Christians say, no, he never thought a bad thought, Ivan. Okay, so for, if an attractive woman was hitting on him and wanted to have sex with him, are you saying he wouldn't be aroused? No, Ivan, he wouldn't be aroused. He wouldn't be tempted one bit. I'm like, okay, but if he's fully man, he would, he would, he would be tempted, man. Yeah, but Ivan, he's sinless. There's a, that's a crazy people. He said that Simon, he can never be aroused. So he, 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 never, he can never get a boner. He can never be aroused. No, Ivan, he can never get a boner. He can never get aroused. Because <laughs> you guys are crazy people, I'm saying. I'm like, no. I think you're taking it to another extreme. I think if a woman hit on him, I think Jesus would be aroused. He'd be very aroused. But he because he's holy, he would run. He would run out of there. That's how he would resist the sex. That's my theory, anyways, on Jesus' holiness. There's debate. You can argue, you know what I'm saying? Would Jesus run out of there or like would he or he can stay in that room and not be tempted one bit? I think that's baloney. I think if a chick was hitting on him and she went out of him, he'd be aroused. He'd be tempted. Because he's holy, he would run out of there. I can't do this, he would run. Because he's sinless, obviously. That that's debatable. I don't know what Sam thinks about that. About the about Jesus' holiness, like how 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 like how like how 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 far are you gonna take Jesus' holiness and 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 sinless nature how, like, to the extreme? I don't know how far he takes it, but I think if a woman was hitting on Jesus two thousand years ago, if, if there was a man named Dijon, uh, Jesus, obviously, if he, which is similar to me, even though it's a fancy in the Bible, I think he would be aroused. He'd be very aroused, but he would run out of there because he's sinless. He he would not do the woman. And he'd be very tempted outwardly. Where some Christians might say, no, no, Ivan, he would stay in that room. He would not be tempted one bit. He would not have a boner. He would not be aroused at all. He, he, he would just stare at the chick and say, I can't do this. You know what I'm saying? I, I, your, your Lord God cannot have sex with you. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, no. He was a man, which means he, yeah, he, was, he was tempted at all points, but without sin. I think that answers your question. I'm not going to have your...